Hey guys, welcome to a complete guide to MAC concealers. Um, I don't think there's really anything that I need to start this video off with, so I think I'm just going to jump in. We're going to be talking about every concealer that MAC currently makes as of right now, which is February of 2019. I'm going to be showing you the product. I'm going to be giving you my opinions on it. I will also read the little description that MAC gives on their website. So I have notes in front of me. So if you kind of see me look over here or down or here, wherever I end up putting this thing, um, that's why. And this is funny, and I will show you a picture of this. Every concealer that I have here is in NW20. When, when available, and I think they all come in NW20. Um, they're not at all similar in any way at all. So just because you are NW20 in one formula, don't assume that you can just go to NW20 in another one because it might be a little bit different. I mean, we're talking ridiculous amounts of different. It's kind of funny, actually. Um, I don't know. I find it humorous. Other people probably find it offensive. Eh, life's funny. So um, before I get started, this is what we're going to do. If you like what you see, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I'm trying to get into the habit of this. I have a sticky note now in front of me that says Patreon, and I have been ignoring it. Um, every th I have a Patreon. There's a link in the bio. Uh, your support helps to uh, create videos like this where I can purchase these and test them and then bring you this information. So thank you to everyone who's already on there. And if you like this and you'd like to see more things like this, check me out on there and leave me a comment. Let me know. Let's talk about Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. Uh, this is one of two concealers that MAC makes that are kind of with a doe foot applicator, like a lip gloss right here. Uh, MAC says, full buildable coverage, natural finish, all day 24 hour wear, roll your eyes. 33 shades. This is MAC's newest concealer at the time of filming this video. Um, it's a liquid concealer and a tube with a lip gloss kind of wand applicator. When I first opened this and smelled it, I thought that it smelled, it does, it smells just like Studio Fix Fluid. So I thought this is going to be like a more concentrated version of Studio Fix Fluid, which I'm, I actually use Studio Fix Fluid as a concealer all the time. And I thought, oh, cool. It's actually not. It's essentially Pro Long Wear in a Tube, and I'll talk to you about more about that in a minute. Um, it is a flat matte finish, very buildable and very blendable, meaning I could blend the edges of this really easily and I could layer this really easily to a fairly full coverage. Ignore the 24 hour claims because I just think that that's, whenever a company throws in wear time claims, I kind of roll my eyes. We're all different. We have different skin types. We live in different climates and we have different levels of activity that we do. So there's no saying that this is going to, it's just a silly claim. So it's long wearing. Yes. Just say that. That's fine. It barely settles into fine lines. And when I say barely, I mean like it's like 95% of the way there. So it's a good under eye concealer. I think for a lot of people, my initial testing notes actually say looks like pro long wear, wears like pro long wear, perhaps more forgiving for dry skin. Other than that minor difference of it feels a little more comfortable, it felt so similar to pro long wear that I actually compared the ingredients. And what I found was that they are almost identical formulas. This one adds more extracts, which are usually, you see them as like antioxidants or skin loving ingredients. Likely that is to, to blame. <laughs> is responsible for that. Could this be more comfortable with drier skin types? Note that I had made. It's very, very similar. Certainly similar enough that if you liked Pro Long Wear, but you found that it was, and I'll talk to you about it next, if you found that it was a little uncomfortable and you wanted something else, this might be a way to go. Or if you just were out of your Pro Long Wear, you want to try something else, give it a shot. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Certainly, I would say good for oily skin um, and even not bad for drier skin types. I have dry skin. Um, whenever I say drier skin, I think of like a dryer with skin, which is gross, like a clothing dryer. Pro Long Wear Concealer, full coverage, matte finish, 24 hour wear, 16 shades. So that's another difference. So you've got, what, what is it, 33 in the other one and 16 in this. Um, I actually had to go back to my original review for this because if you would have asked me six months ago, what do you think about Max Pro Long Wear Concealer? I would have went, meh. In my head, for some reason, I had that I didn't like this, even though 
when I looked at my original review from like back in what was it 1992 I um was like I actually liked it I gave it pretty good marks so I don't know I guess don't listen to me is the moral of the story because I don't know what I'm talking about. The point is <laughs> when I did actually test this again, I got a sample because I thought, why buy something that you know you already don't like? Just buy it, re-familiarize yourself with the product and then we'll go from there. I actually like this so much that I bought this myself for me because I was like, oh no, I like this now. Now, my only real complaints about the product back then are the same as today. It comes in a pump that's dumb. It still does. Way back when I tested this in 1963, still, stupid pump. And it doesn't allow you to get out the exact right amount of product. You can look at my old review if you want. Um, but it's just a silly mechanism. You can put some in a little sample container and go, because you need so little of this, so little. And it still has this, what I describe as a tightening sensation as it dries that I translate in my mind to a feeling of weight that feels like it's just dragging my face down. It still has that. The less you use of this, the less you have that type of sensation. So none of these things changed, but what I didn't have in 1686 when I originally tested this that I have now are more fine lines around the eyes. This is the only concealer that MAC makes that does not settle into fine lines 100% on me. So that alone is more of, and I don't really care about my dark circles really that much, but that makes this like a, oh yeah, we need to have this kind of product product. So that's pretty much it. Anything, as you would imagine, anything that I have to say about this is the same that I have to say about the smooth wear um, foundation or concealer because they're pretty much the same. Um, yeah, so either or, or none at all. Say who cares and just don't wear concealer and watch this video just because it's entertaining. And if you're doing that, then have a drink or something. Select moisture cover, medium coverage, natural finish, hydrating, 13 shades. That's what Max says. Um, I also include in this section of this video, Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. Eight hour wear, non-creasing, stay true color. Comes in three duos for a total of six colors because each one has a different color. There's pale yellow, pale pink, this one, mid peach, mid yellow, pure orange, and ochre. Um, this design originally launched with a Mickey contractor, and I still have a little bit of this thing here. I don't throw anything away. Um, like way back in 2011, I think it was, or 1872. This is the same formula as this. That's why I put them together because it's the same ingredients, same formula, whatever. There's there's no reason to talk about them differently. I used to love this stuff. To me, it's very similar to Touche Clot, and I use it in the same way. It just didn't come in a click pen. Now I have my beloved Joan Collins Timeless Beauty Concealer, which is like better Touche Clot and doesn't come in a click pen. I actually got out my Touche Clot pen. This is the last Touche Clot that I ever got. And my, <laughs> my dog ate it <laughs> and I kept it. It was like, it was one of those moments where you kind of want to be mad, but at the same time, it's also sort of hilarious. I'm just glad that he didn't like swallow it. Not Baxter. This was Bali that ate this. He's gigantic. Um, Baxter wouldn't have done that much damage. And I'm surprised that Bali didn't actually swallow that. So um, I used to like this a lot for just brightening. Mm -hmm. which is basically what they did when they created these like correcting duos. Um, I think it's an outstanding concealer for dry skin. It's great for brightening around the eyes. It does settle into fine lines if you're not kind of careful. So be careful about how much you're using and all that stuff. It has a nice medium coverage formula. It's not buildable to full coverage. It's not, I wouldn't use... I wouldn't use any liquid concealer for spot touch-ups. If you've got a blemish or some sort of a mark and you're trying to cover it, that's what a cream is for. Liquids in general, I think, are better used for brightening around the nose, eyes, things like that. I have sort of dark spots on either side of my eyes, so I usually put a little dot here and here, and I might kind of highlight the, not highlight, but you know, some of the dark areas bring, bring some lightness to that. But so it makes no surprise to me, or it comes as no surprise that um, they took that formula and created a line of sort of skin correcting and brightening duos. It makes complete sense. It's how I use the formula 
anyway, back in the day of 1411, 12. Mineralized concealer, sheer coverage, natural finish, hydrating, 12 shades. Personally, I think that this is Mac's second most moisture rich formula um, or easy for dry skin next to Studio Water Weight. The difference between this and Studio Water Weight is that this actually does something. Um, this is a sheer medium, not really buildable because it's so like moisture rich. I think it's got so much like emollientness, goodness for your skin. Um, I, I, I can't imagine using this for anything other than just brightening up some dull areas. I wouldn't even use this to like cover dark circles unless they were really minor. Because it is so like moisture rich, it also has a tendency to crease. So just be aware of that. It's not bad. It's just not great. I would only use it as a brightener and moisture cover works better. And I use the Joan Collins one in place of the moisture cover one. So Studio Water Weight Concealer, medium full, buildable coverage, medium full, buildable coverage, natural finish, ultra fluid, 16 shades. There is a bit of a trick to this and I am going to explain it. This is a recent-ish launch that I was interested when, um, when it came out, I wanted to check out. It comes with a dropper like this. Drip, drop, drip. Oh, my hands are shaking because I'm, I'm worried I'm good. I'm trying to look at the camera, look at the microphone, look at this. I was interested in trying out when it came out. And then when I tried it out, I was just like, meh. Um, I don't find this extremely buildable. It, it, it's a very thin consistency. It's easily the thinnest one that MAC makes. It's very watery, studio water weight. It applies best with a dry sponge because you need to get some of that moisture out of the product in order to get anything on the skin. Another way that you can apply it is take a little bit and put it like on the back of your hand or on a palette and like rub it around and let it sit there for a couple minutes and dry while you do something else and then come back to it and you're going to have something that's a little bit thicker it's a little bit easier to work with it's got a little more coverage you use that with a dry sponge and then you've got almost a concealer i think that you would do much better looking at just a foundation that's going to do the job even in a drugstore. Look for something that says anti-aging on it that's loaded with a lot of silicone if you want that smoothing kind of feel um, or look. And um, again, Studio Fix Fluid is, and, and that's much more full coverage than this. Um, I just, I just, you'd save a lot of money, honestly. I, I just don't really like this stuff. Studio Fix Perfecting Stick. Medium coverage, natural finish, water resistant, 16 shades. I roll at the water resistant. Difficult to apply in a convenient stick is my first note. Studio Fix Perfecting Stick works better uh, swiped onto fingers and then applied like that or with a sponge or a brush. And I don't think it blends very well. I had to tap it onto the skin and then it had a tendency to kind of pill up on itself and try and pull up. So uh, um, no, it manages to have the look of a cream to powder formula while also the feel of a traditional like grease paint stick. Um, I don't find it particularly water resistant, um, even though it claims to be. Um, it never really dried down very well. So um, you do have to set it with powder. I mean, Studio Water Weight doesn't dry down very well either, um, but this one just, I don't know. I, I, I think that this, I think that this was added to Max lineup, thinking that people were gonna use this for highlighting and contour. I think that this is supposed to be for the um, highlight contour, Instagram drag makeup, Yas Queen kind of crowd, um, the I'm Shook group, um, whatever. Studio Finish Concealer. Now this one comes in a bunch of different guises. So I have Studio Finish Concealer, Full Coverage, Natural Finish, SPF 35, 23 shades. This is almost identical in formula to Full Coverage Foundation, which I have right here. It also comes in a palette refill pan um, that looks like these things for a lot less money than buying the actual thing in the plastic pot, but there are only 19 shades instead of 23 that are in the pot. That's Studio Finish Concealer, again, very similar to, it's like there's like three ingredients that are different and they're way down on the list between the two. So it's essentially the same product as Max Full Coverage Foundation. You get a lot more for your money this way too. Studio Finish Skin Corrector Pro Palette Refill Pen only comes in a palette refill pan like this. Um, six shades. I have um, eight because they used to make eight, but I believe that these are the ones that are gone now here. 
Uh, 12 hour wear water resistant pro palette pan. Six shades, light peach and blonde ash have been discontinued. Um, it's the same formula as the Studio Finish Concealer as the full coverage foundation. It just comes in skin correcting shades. These are nice, they're handy. Um, I've used them as lipsticks before or brow color even. And then there's also, and I don't have these, there's also the Studio Conceal and Correct palettes. Eight hour wear, I'm starting to confuse myself. Eight hour wear, non-creasing, stay true color. Six, six pan palettes are in this category for four different um, skin tones. Each one has like, what I mean is there's four different concealers in each six pan palette, two correctors. It's the same formula. It comes in extra deep, 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 dark, medium, deep, medium, and light. Didn't bother because I don't need that much studio finish concealer, yo. Um, this is Max. I think, is this their only cream concealer at the moment? It's their classic full coverage cream concealer. Um, it's um, uh, hard to tell from the differences, but they are all the same product. So right now, if you see a cream concealer at a matte counter, it is all the same formula. That's what you need to know. That's the point. Um, it's a good formula. It blends well. It's a thick cream, so expect that. I mean, nothing's going to blend as well as like the liquids because they just, they blend easier. It's a thick cream. It's going to be a little bit different. This is used spot concealing. Uh, if you've got uh, blemishes or anything like that, great for that. You can use it under the eyes, of course. I think of this as like a workhorse kind of a product. It's a nice, classic, basic uh, concealer. It mixes with a lot of mixing mediums. You can mix this with moisturizer to thin it out. You can use it straight, like plain from the pot. Um, I've uh, made my own cream concealer or cream foundation palettes with this by picking like four shades from light to dark and then just mixing them to melt them down, mix them up, pour them into a palette with wells. I have a video on it. I will include a link in the description of this one if you want to check it out. Um, they're handy, but it's the only formula that they make. So don't think that you need to get this and then this and then this and then this. It's the same. And that is information directly from Mac as well. That's not just me comparing ingredients. That's me actually asking them, are they the same? And getting multiple people say yes. The palettes, the six pan palettes are the same as this stuff. The last one that I have here is Max Chromographic Pencil. This is just going to get a little minor shout out. Um, this is an old one. They are uh, black now um, with um, the thing. Creamy formula, rich color, long wearing, one shade, which is NC42 slash NW35, which is the weirdest way to label something. Which one is it? Is it kind of in the middle? This is really yellow on me. Um, then this is NW25 slash NC30. It's um, weird. Used to be available in three colors. Now it's just one in the US, though I have seen on some, so I think in Mac Japan, it's available in more colors. I'm assuming that it's being phased out, but it is still currently available. So I'm mentioning it in this video. What you have is basically a flesh colored um, pencil. That's all it is. You can use this. Um, a lot of people use this for correcting, like uh, like if you do red lip and you want to go in and like clean up the edges, you can use it for that. It's a really nice one to use in the waterline instead of a white pencil, you know, traditional like white pencil in the waterline to brighten the eye. This is a little more natural looking. Um, they're a cool idea. I like them. I've had this for years and I've never been able to get through it. I just, I never have. So, um, they're fine, but I, I don't know if anyone's really missing them if they phase them out or not. I'm not sure, but, and I don't know that they're going to. I just noticed that there's only one color that's available on the site anymore. So that is it. We're done. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you like content like this, um, please, or, or something else, <laughs> consider checking me out on Patreon. I'll include a link in the description of the video. I believe it's just like Patreon slash, you know, Dustin Hunter. Um, there's perks and rewards there if you want and all that stuff, but there's different tier levels. And thank you to everyone who is supporting me on there because again, this allows me to take a budget and set it aside and go, I'm going to buy all the concealers that I don't have for Mac and we're going to do a testing review video. So I'm going to do that. And, um, that's it. If you have any questions about any of these, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, if they're like Mac specific formula questions, shade matching, I can't do that. Um, your best bet is to go on to Mac's website and do like the online chat, talk to somebody. They're usually more helpful than calling the number uh, where they're just sort of operators taking orders. Um, 
And that's it. Thanks. <laughs> Did I say that already? I appreciate it. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. That was like a lot to just like end suddenly. Should we like go out for coffee or something? I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Drinks. I need a glass of water. This is a lot of talking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon.